All right, g'day there. Richard Musgrave Evans here again, and welcome back. Now today, I'm back in the Outback, and I'm painting clear prime Belgian linen. Good stuff. Got all the oil paint, got the palette knives, got a nice composition of the shearing shed and then the distant ranges, just coming into the afternoon light, so it should be quite good. As usual, I've just blocked in the darks. So I've got the darks here, and then I've got the gradiating off into the distance just to give me the feeling a bit of an underpainting and now I'll get started all right now I reckon I'll go for the biggest difference to me is the sky and I'll be anticipating how the sky is going to change through the painting so if I paint exactly what's there it won't quite be right because in about half an hour's time it'll be slightly different so I'll get into it anticipating see what happens burnt sienna and white bit of yellow ochre Bit more white I reckon. A few flies around today. Get that, get that. Now at the moment that seems way too brown and it is. But I'm not gonna worry about that just yet. All will be hopefully revealed later on as things progress. Wise. A bit more burnt sienna and yellow ochre and white. More white. A bit more yellow ochre and white. Just a little bit more yellow ochre in that mix. Okay, so. Just getting a general feel of the mountain range. Now I go to yellow ochre and white. Get that mixed as quickly as I can. Bit more yellow ochre. I have to darken it ever so slightly. Get that on as quickly as possible. It's been a while since I've painted on this raw linen. Well, it's actually clear prime, but that raw colour. Quite enjoying it. Okay, next layer I will do a bit of a cobalt blue. A bit more of that yellow ochre and make a kind of pale green colour. Let's have a look what we got. Put that on. Okay, a bit more blue. A bit of that yellow ochre and stuff. Get it all on like so. Try and get the big impression done as quickly as possible. What are we up to? A bit of blue. A bit of magenta. The wind's come up a little bit, but I think it's going to be all right. I think we're protected here. Under the shelter. All right, so we'll keep getting that on. Now, go darker. So I've got the magenta and the blue with a bit less white in it. Needs a bit more magenta, it was a little bit too blue, it needs a bit more red. As it goes up, 
more jammed if it goes up higher. How much fun is this, eh? Back painting in the outback. Great stuff. Great stuff. Okay. Big impression as quickly as you can. Get it all on. There we go, look at that. Just pulling them together. So, I'm slowly bringing the colours together. Just pulling all those colours together so they all intermix with each other nicely. Bring that green blue down a bit. it up into this part. Mix, mix, mix. Okay, here we go. Pull that green a little bit lower down into those beautiful burnt sienna browns. To mixing those colours as all that golden brown starts to go that into that atmospheric colour as it goes up into the heavens here. Just varying the marks now so you've got great variety, not all the same. There was a lot of chunk 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 but it's good to vary it now. Wiping the knife clean between shots. Edge, just uh, putting in some of those browns again down, just cutting into the edge, building the horizon line up. Now, just a look what we're doing here. All right, let's have a look at this draft and shit now. Just with a knife on edge, I'm cutting back in. Building some of those mountains. Right, I might just mix up a bit of yellow oak with that sky blue, a bit of burnt sienna. A bit more yellow ochre. A little white in the mix. A bit of green, see how we go, eh? Building up a bit of a foliage colour, let's have a look. Just lightly touching, letting a lot of the shadow undertone come through, like so. Okay, now, 
happy to mix up a bit of a salt bush colour. So I'll use some of that sky blue. A bit more yellow ochre in it. See what we got. Mix up a bit of a magenta there. Half mix it with that. Okay, it's a bit light, so we'll just darken a bit. Quite a few flies kicking around. Now the next thing will be to mix up I've got a different knife for a minute I've got a slightly smaller knife this one here I'll mix up some cad red and cad yellow to make a beautiful orange color these guys are nothing but fun today I tell you Pretty nice orange, right? Okay, with that, a bit of magenta and white here. I'm gonna just pull some of that in, see what kind of colour I get here. Okay, now, big enough. Right, use some of that with the magenta. Lace it in there, lace it in. I might actually put a bit of burnt sienna with that, just refining the colour as I go. A bit more of that earthy burnt siennas with that cad colour to sting it up a bit. Give it a bit more chromatic saturation. Just keep modifying the colours as you go. Lightly touching. Plenty of red earth at the moment because there's a bit of a drought, so put all that in. Mm, a bit more brown, there we go. A bit of yellow ochre maybe. It's a little bit richer in the foreground here. Magenta, white, blue, just mixing a real cool shadowy tone. A few shadows kicking on the edge here. Just pull those shadows into it like that, blending as I go. I'm to capture the feeling of light and shadow. As the evening goes on, there'll be become more of those shadows. Let's stand back and have a look, eh? All right, now, there's a bit of an open paddock out there. What have we got here? Just running a bit low on the magenta, so I'll get stuck into that. There we go, a bit more magenta. Great colour, I love that colour. Love magenta. Fantastic. Put a bit of that in. With that yellow. Get some blue over here. Okay, here we go. Line it in just under that creek line.
those salt bushy colours. Right. These flies are fun. Right, get a bit of draftsmanship. I'll pull the paint down and sometimes pull the paint up, taking the paint off like that. Draw those beautiful crisp hills. You just pull back in. Now I've got the blue underneath, see? So as I go like this, building really clean coloured hills. Clean shaped hills, I should say. Stand back and have a look at the grass and Kind of. Kind of got it. Keep refining, constantly keep working around, going for the biggest differences. What have we got here? Getting off the colouring over here. A bit more magenta in that colour. Lighten the tongue with a bit of white. Do the fly salute in the middle of it. Have a bit of this cad colour I seem to have lost. Lighten it a bit. A bit of white. Cad yellow, cad red, yellow. And white, so it's making it kind of a light orange colour. Magenta, white. Tiny bit of blue in it. Have a look at that. What have we got? What have we got? Like there. Building that light and shadow, it's changing quick, it's always changing. So you're putting a general feel of what's going on there because it keeps on moving on you. More blue, hang on. Magenta and blue, I've just knocked it back a bit. Over here it's more into the light so the, the shadows are not quite so rich in colour. Darker in tone. some paint off here with this just scrape back to a beautiful clean straight blue shadow under there like so that will be the edge of the shearing shed which is out there the reason I'm painting this subject a bit more off so I can put the roof on there. Okay, what colour is the roof today? 
bit magentary, a bit bluey. It's always different. It's half lit. Hasn't got full sunlight on it or full shadows so though. It's got a bit of both. So Paint that corrugated iron type look. Comes out a little further there, there we go, look at that. Stand back a minute. Okay, now it's got a really nice orange highlight. The light's really hitting it. Lighter tone, lighter, more white. Mallows are kind of encroaching on it, so I'll build some of them back into the composition. Some burnt sienna and Viridian green. Yellow ochre. Just lightly pulling down. Blue, magenta, green. These shadows starting to kick in now, they're getting longer. Here, white, beautiful cads. Gentle and white, bit of that yellow orange, more magenta, half mixed. Oh, get rid of those flies. Pull through. Some brighter colour into here where the, the light starts to strike. Got some white on the end of this with a bit of cad yellow. Knife on edge. Just going to draw some of the highlight trunks. I'll use a smaller knife, so I've got the white half mixed with cad yellow. What have we got here? Look at this, look at that. Just draw some of those trunks in with the knife on edge. Not too many.
Okay, now I'll get back into some of the earlier things I was working on. Always working around, always going for the biggest differences and never quite finishing anything before you get on to the next thing. Just want to introduce a little bit of extra accents and some beautiful colours on those hills. Just want to put a bit of variety in the uh, in the mix. Keep adding details and draftsmanship. Keep looking for the biggest differences. Get some of this draftsmanship around the edge of these mountains a little bit more consistent in colour and tone. A little bit more, here we go. Pick out some of the shadows in the river gums that are in the creek bed. Stand back all the time, Devil. shadows and they keep they keep on moving they keep on creeping they keep putting them in and they give those beautiful warm and cool contrast then all right well that's pretty much it i've got the big impression and uh pretty happy with it i could keep on going but i'll be chasing the light it just keeps on changing as you know so I've got a nice, colourful, sunlit version of a fleeting moment. Now remember, if you haven't already, also go ahead and subscribe. That'll help me out. And at the same time, if you like the video, like the video and share it with your mates and whatever else. Okay, until next time, I'll see you later. Okay, let's come in and have a closer look at what we've got. Now you can see I've really played up on the colour. I've really looked for the subtle colour in the landscape and pulled it out. Now I enjoyed working over those ranges, they were beautiful the way they subtly folded off into the distance. Layer after layer, just getting further and further away. At the same time, I also enjoyed the chunkiness of the sky, playing with those warm and cool colours, sorry, and just great combination. That evening effect was uh, the light, the shadow, the warm, the cool in the Flinders Ranges. Fantastic subject matter with that clear atmospheric light. Now you can see in the foreground, to really pump it up and bring the foreground up, I've gone for strong oranges and blues. The shearing shed, put a fair bit of work in, but not overstated it. It's also playing with those same colours of complementary oranges and blues and whatever. Alright, well that's about it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time, I'll see you later.